Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are doing some boat maintenance. We're actually upgrading the old outdated bungee style rod straps on the deck of the boat to boat buckles. Retractable system that works much, much better. It's really simple to do. We're doing it today, so I wanted to bring you guys along. Today, this work we're doing is actually on my wife Cece's boat. She has had a boat since before we met, but we just upgraded her. She joined the Champion family. We just picked her up a 198. Just a little bit smaller than the 210s that Tim and I drive. Still an incredible rough water, fast running boat. They're awesome. But when you pick up a used boat, as you guys know, there's some work that has to be done. So when we got this boat, the old style rod straps, the bungees themselves are actually missing. It's just the empty hole. So we're gonna upgrade them to boat buckles. Now what we're going to do different, when I had my Cobra, before I got in my car crash, my Cobra had boat buckles just like this and they were just mounted right into the hole of the boat. Today we're going to add the conversion kit, which makes them flush mounted. Let's jump over onto my 210. This is what the kit does. So you end up completely flush, mounted in the rail, really clean, looks really good. Now doing the actual install is really simple. I expect both sides of this thing to take maybe 30, 40 minutes start to finish from pulling tools out to being wrapped up. It really is that easy. Uh, it just takes a couple of tools. You need a screwdriver, we're using pink snap-on in uh, honor of this girl boat. Um, tape measure, a saw to make your cut. Although I found, because I like to flush mount them so close to the bottom here along the carpet, that I actually do better with just a hacksaw blade. I mean, truly anybody can do this. And then a drill. That's all it's going to take. We're going to uh, cut out the opening mount it i'll show you as we go but it's really really simple let's jump right in get that out so here's the existing hole that they've drilled in the boat ours is not going to match up perfectly i don't think the conversion kit pretty basic parts what you have here we've already got the boat buckle this piece from the conversion kit is going to mount over the top here. We'll screw that to the face. And now instead of being on the exterior, this whole piece is going to be on the inside of the hole and it will be just this guy on the outside. So this is the piece that matters right now. Line that up. I actually think it's gonna cover that hole perfectly I mean perfectly and then of course we'll need to our width is different so we'll have to drill some holes and widen up our screw placement but I think this is going to be really simple it comes with a template it's right here I'll go grab a pair of scissors cut that out we're going to tape it on here then we'll fire up the drill and we'll get to cutting all right there's our template that's what's going to sit there Anytime you're gonna cut or drill fiberglass, you wanna put some masking tape on it. It helps keep it from chipping. Just a quick little tip for you. So I wanna see that existing hole so I can cover it. Now I'm taking this piece that's going to be mounted and I'm gonna flip it upside down so I can gauge whether or not I'm covering that hole. Then I'm simply going to mark my screw holes. So that gives me my screw holes. Everything else is gonna line itself up. This will be really simple. Go ahead and get this template in place. All right, I've got my template in place. All we're going to do is I, I need to drill for my two screw holes. 
and then I'm gonna drill out the corners as a starting point, and then take that saw and cut my straight edges. Again, because I'm so low to the deck, it's easier just to do with a blade. So we'll start out just drilling our screw holes, and then we'll go from there. So many bass fishermen I talk to are afraid to drill holes in their boat. I don't know what it is. They, for the most minor things, they take it to a mechanic. This stuff is simple. I mean, anybody could do what we are doing right now. It is not hard. Sounds scary, but we're already halfway through. Let's get a test fit. Look at that. Snugs right up. If I can do this, anyone can do this. So we'll get the tape pulled off here, get this cleaned up, open up the rod locker, reach up inside, Install this piece from the back side, put this thing together. line up perfectly put this guy on and we are two screws away from being done with this part of the job that's done now what we're gonna do is I like to come out 17 inches to the outside of the last screw. That's just personal experience. That's right there. Now notice the strap will go way past there. So why do I stop there? Because you need to accommodate to actually go up and over your rods. So we'll screw this in and that'll be that. All right, guys, that is all there is to it. Upgraded to a rod buckle, concealed everything inside the deck. Nice and clean, those rods are gonna be secure. This is just the first video. We've got a lot of work to do on this boat. We're putting graphs on it. It needs a trolling motor. We'll take you along as we go through the process and then we'll give you a full tour. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't be afraid to work on your own boat. A lot of this stuff is simple. If you've got an outboard problem, take it to a mechanic, but the actual mechanical things on the boat are very simple. And when you do them yourself, if there's a problem on the boat, you know how to fix them. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.